This is Sean Sport in podcast form. It's always a great day when you catch up with the great Pav, the Matthew Pavlich. You can see him on Nine News. The of Matthew Pavlich. Yeah, the, the person. The, the, the thing about um, Nine News is they don't show his thighs off enough, do they? No, that's true. No, I've said that for many you years. Do love I love his him thighs. in a short short, too. Uh, <laughs> Pav, come on in. How are you guys? Do you think, how do you reckon the general public that watch the news would react if I wore shorts? I think it's amazing. Uh, I think, what are you I think it'd about? be groundbreaking. I think it's like right. sport. It's like live golf at the moment, Pat. Yes. Live golf. Yeah, that's right. Greg, Greg Norman bringing out the shorts and the, the short socks. That's become acceptable in golf around the world at most clubs, and now Live Golf are doing it. Maybe yep. we should bring it to Nine News tonight. Well, yeah, well, bring it on. Well, well Pav, people, uh, things only change when someone's bold enough yes. to make the move. So why not be um, business on top and footy shorts on the bottom? Yeah. Footy shorts? Well, well you're a football you've, player. You've it got, makes sense. You've got a few in the in the drawer. I, don't know. I do. I, I was thinking more um, like just some board shorts. I, I love getting around. Like when I get home, it's, I probably like most people when they get home from work, they go from their work attire to something comfy. I'm a, I'm a board shorts man, so kind of not the not the old 1990s fashion down down below the knees type. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah, like yeah. to show you know. Maybe your mid thigh. Oh, let's be honest. I mean, if you're going to wear news shorts, would be something that would pair with a belt, like a, like probably like a like a, a, a tailored like, like, a, like a tailored short. short. Um, okay, how, a linen how far short. too far down because you know you don't want those daggy ones that go down near no, your knee. No, I think it needs to be. You don't want two euros. I think it needs to be probably. Mm, what's that? And what's that? That's, that's about that's uh, two, inches. two inches. Six so inches. Sean says that's twelve inches. Yes. Um, so say two <laughs> inches above the knee. I would say. I like to see you having a pair of Daisy Jukes. Yeah. Tailored. Well, we I mean, because well, if you've got would, those thighs, <laughs> why wouldn't you show them off? Yeah, you know what I mean? We all would, Sean, but we can't just jump to Daisy Jukes. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's that's, 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 that's in Pab's five-year plan. We've we got to get, we get to first base before we get to third base. And, and, then, then, and then, then every year we just like we just hem it a bit higher. Just hem it a bit higher. Hem it a bit higher. And then the following year we cut the ass cheeks out. I was back to the... Wardrobe, wardrobe department and see what they can do yeah. for uh, maybe not this week. This week might be ambitious. Maybe next week. Oh, well, yeah, when the weather warms up a little bit, yeah. get yeah, yeah. Get yeah, Sherry on. Right. Grand, grand on or maybe spring carnival time. We can start to change the fashion. It's a good. It's yeah. a really good point. Now, Pav, um, we're going to get stuck into the AFL um, new <laughs> no, collective bargaining shorts. agreement. But I want to ask you another another honour's been bestowed on you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. It's uh, a great. It's a great year when you get um, nominated and acknowledged for one Hall of Fame, but two in one year is quite um, quite unusual. I um, COVID obviously interrupted some of the presentations over the last couple of years, and so on Monday night, uh, the South Australian uh, National Football League inducted me into their Football Hall of Fame. That's so uh, good. Only two hundred and fourteen. Only two hundred and fourteen other um, people that have been nominated in that. So yeah, incredibly uh, fortunate and privileged to be. In that, along with the WA Football Hall of Fame and, of course, earlier this year, the Australian Football Hall of Fame. So I, it was nice because I think some people... I, mean, I only played one season there, really, uh, in the FNFL. I played all my junior football with Woodville West Torrens yeah. and, and my local school there in Adelaide growing up. But to be recognised in three of them where I've spent, uh, you know, certainly WA and SA, along with the AFL one, was an uh, incredible honour. All that's left is the World Football Hall of Fame at this point. Oh, it's so good. It's so fantastic. Yeah, I know. Especially when people like Wayne Carey is doing the walk of shame. (laughs) (laughs) You're going the other way. You're going the opposite direction. I think it's great. Well done, mate. Yeah, yeah, left the anti inflammatories at home this time. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely, Pat. Now, $4.5 billion, Channel 7 and Foxtel are forked out for this. TV rights deal, which means uh, in the future, obviously, uh, people will be able to see the games um, and they're going to be all across the different free platforms way. along the way and free to air, which was important. But um, the player group, how much of this money would they be getting, Pav? <laughs> well, they're licking their lips right now, aren't they? Yeah. They're, uh, they're lining up. I'm sure Paddy Dangerfield and uh, Nat Fife and Scott Pendlebury and all the sort of key players are saying, right, I decrease lip yep. size, give me the money. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Show exactly. me all the hard work that I've... And look, look, the players and the whole industry has, have been through, and they're not alone, a lot of people out there in the general public have been through some pain. Some It depends on what industry you've been in. Some have been had the best of times the last two years. But the, the players and the industry took some cuts throughout COVID. Um, we think way back when there was no crowd, there was no end in sight of what this pandemic was going to mean. Um, it would have been a good opportunity to double down on on actually increasing the game then, but everyone everything went the other way. Everyone retracted, and, and now that we're out of out of it, a four and a half billion dollar deal has been signed. I think everyone's going to be lighting up and, and wanting their fair share. Um, the fair share or the uh, revenue sharing agreement was put in place 
about six or seven years ago now, which was about a 20, somewhere between a 28, a 25 and 28% split for the players. Uh, and it's going to be a joint one with the AFLW. So historic in many ways, this one. Uh, and great for the game because I think it you know, locks down the longevity of the sport here in Australia as the number one uh, sport and, uh, and, and you know, make sure that grassroots and everything is, is sustainable for a long period going forward. 2031. So, that's so a long deal, isn't it? That that's is good. That's, that, that is good, Nate. So yeah. 25 to 28% on 650 million, that's roughly it a year, isn't it? Something along those lines. So what does that end up being about 240 million towards the players? Is that right? Yeah, and that's so that'll be across both AFL, AFLW mm. firstly, and then it's spread across all the clubs, yeah. and then spread across yeah. um, obviously player payments. But yeah. you know, you, you think about all the additional stuff, surely that um, you know, education wise, well being yeah, wise, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. You know, there's there's a huge amount, so it's not necessarily in the players' back pocket. Yes. but added benefits the players will get. Yeah, and you know, go towards their yeah, retirement yeah. scheme, yeah. the annuity scheme. So um, pretty quickly, all the money gets thinned out in in terms of specifically what the players get paid. But the great thing is all the other things, all the support networks, all the aspects that will better the person or the player, both men and female, um, as, a, as a well-rounded yes. athlete and a real well-rounded person, it's going to go to that, that aspect. Well. But yeah, from what, sure. what I've read in the paper many times, oh, half of that is going to Jeremy McGovern. <laughs> 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 well, I think, that, you know what, not only does it go to maybe specifically Jeremy McGovern and uh, Matt Fife but uh, our three AFL teams, yeah. but I, I think there, there is talk There is talk that, um, you know, decreased the list, list sizes and a reinvigoration of, uh, uh, Waffle and also SANFL, and so you might see less players on lists. So the be- the better players or, or the top, say thirty five players, get paid a lot more. But there might be some more vertical movement, and vertical I mean by coming from the Waffle yeah. up to the AFL, like a supplementary list, and you go back down a bit more movement that way. So interesting times. Um, but hopefully, the good news is that you know the fans at home and the people that are watching get to still see. Their teams play, particularly here in in uh, Perth, and I know Adelaide have the same uh, with the with the arrangements with, with Fox. Yeah, so yeah, every good. every every game will be covered by a Foxtel um, team, which yes. you're a part of, Pav. So you got more work coming up. Obviously, you've had to take a pay cut though, so they can pay for it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm out of contract, so you know I'm, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm buttering up uh, Patrick and. And Mick and Leroy at the moment, making sure that uh, you know I've got, a, I've got a deal for next year. Yeah, Christmas right, cards, well, Father's Day cards. Blah, well, blah, blah. thinking about moving forward and the plans that we've got in place. Um, remember, um, just jump on um, Channel Nine social media um, and um, hashtag uh, present Pavs pins. Um, <laughs> I, I think, think that's is, got a lot to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Present Pavs pins, um, and then we can Sub see hashtag, if we can get this. We like short shorts. Yeah, yeah. We'll see, get the shorts no, we can't go though. I, I mean, I've seen Shorty um, back in the day at a, at a Bali footy, footy trip wearing the sort of light blue, powder blue, uh, Euro type of. It just goes you know, to my eyes, Pav. What do you do? It does. Oh, no, that's like right. Uh, we can't Daniel go with Craig those Craig wore in uh, one of those Bond yeah. movies. No, yeah. not the type. Yeah. Uh, no, they're the looser sort of shorts, aren't they? It's like a, I go what, each what way. Bruce Jenner used to wear in the Olympics. Yeah, I'll wear the cycling the shorts, the whole lot. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, I'm thinking we can't go the Euros, but we might we, we might start with, as you said, the, the two inch off the bottom of the yes, knee, of the top it. of the knee. Just we'll, a polite we'll length. All right, yeah. a polite a length. A polite Bermuda. You can yeah. see Matthew Pavlich on Channel 9 News. <laughs> Guys, everyone, he's a we Hall of Famer. We about anyway. the Dockers. <laughs> oh, no, well, He's you know. Short. Oh, Dockers. Oh, the Dockers. Yeah, they, they've got to be game this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, I've run out I'm of time. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Less Dockers, more shorts. Thank you very much. Hashtag present Paz Fins. <laughs> Sean Sport in podcast form. Just going to kick off with cricket. Yesterday, Australia played uh, New Zealand in a one day. Uh, it's been played in Cairns at the moment mm. just because of the weather situation. Mm. Go up there and play, and they won the game. But Aaron Finch is the captain of the Limited Overs team, so he's twenty twenty captain yep. and also the one day yep. captain. He's been horrendous for two years. <laughs> like he literally has been rubbish for two years. And so then I've got to put aside the fact that he can't make any runs like yesterday when he made five and go, how good must his leadership be to be yes. able to keep your spot okay, so in the big, team? So he must be just a really great guy but a crap player is what you're saying. And also making great calls as far as, oh, it's your turn to bowl a field over there. Because uh, they're yes, winning. but I, I don't know. How long can you carry a guy for? Like I think he's made 50 runs once in the last 20 innings. So it, it, he, he averages 14. <laughs> <laughs> like we could throw Nathan out doing his pirouettes, which we've seen before. And how many that. runs would he get? 
Oh. I mean, at least edge one down to fine leg now. I would get, I'm a fast runner. You just need to have someone naked chasing me. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've learned that before. I'm, as I understand the rules of cricket, that is, <laughs> that is how the game works. But not inconceivable. <laughs> yeah. Running away from a bat and two balls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a really good point. Anyway, I want Aaron Finch out of the team. Okay. Someone okay. can tell me that he's a good bloke and, Sean you know, I may spoken. waver, but I, I think his time maybe is up. Maybe we can start cold calling members of his family, like yes. maybe his wife, and say, we'd like your husband to be unemployed. Oh, I love a good cold call. Yeah. Absolutely. Used to yeah. do it to a guy, uh, Matthew Richardson, back in the day when he was a champion player. A couple of mates played for Richmond, so we got his number and on a Sunday night. You're talking about Richo, the champion goalkeeper. Yeah, we just cold call him and give him a heap of crap <laughs> just for fun. Does he know it was you? Yeah, of course he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we go again. The boys are at me. Yeah. Sunday night. Yeah, it's like, yeah, my, fridge, what? my fridge is running. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right, I over to footy now and... Um, <laughs> At the moment, there's a lot of players looking to better their situation by moving clubs. Sure. You know, there's obviously most of the teams are out of their finals race at the moment. So there's 12 teams um, and all players. We talked about Willie Rioli yesterday. Junior Rioli. Julie Rioli. He's looking to um, further his career and financial situation. Jack Rewald is one that's been around. He's played 300 AFL games. And people were saying maybe it's time he retires because the club can't f- afford to fit him in yeah. to their team. Well, he was on AFL 360 last night and he said uh, financially it's not an issue. I suppose the, the, the financial side of it was the thing that just was the, really the ticking off. And that's not an argument over money. It's actually sort of what's left in the pie to keep the club stable and pay me for next year. And I think for me, it's a bit like I've been very lucky to have been paid extremely well for a, a long period of time now that I'm not playing for any sort of financial gain, really. I'm playing to hopefully win another premiership. Well, then, so then give him nothing. So he's taking a massive pay cut. Is that what he's saying? He's taking a massive pay cut, but he doesn't care. It's, it's very then, it's seldom, then, you, seldom you hear that. Play for nothing. Yeah. Oh, no, you, you, well, there's got to be a play. There's got to be a payment. Oh, then um, a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Bit you just, of, said, like you just said I've been paid very well for a very long yeah, period of I'm time. I'm not about the money. I'm not about the money. Now I just want right. to do it well, for no the problem. team. You play a, for a dollar. You get a pie every week. <laughs> Put your dollar where your mouth is. <laughs> I think so he's when he's dropped really down good. to, what, 300000 I, 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 I will tell you right now about that. this job, I am here for the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, it's refreshing, but what's he talking about? A drop to what? Half oh. a million? No, he'd be well under that. Yeah. What, 300000 Well, he might be on two hundred fifty grand. He's oh, one of the marquee pray players. for Jack. Oh, no, pray no, for Jack. I think you said he's, I think put it he's in a, a marquee player. He's right. right. 750 But goals. he's got boats and he's, and doing he's it. got yachts to pay for. He's doing and, it for the better of the team. With, cars with uppity doors. <laughs> The service on those are auto masters are probably a bit more expensive mm. than our normal doors, no, poor it's, people doors. No, I guess it's different grease, isn't it, to get them up? Oh, no, no, I think it's a good thing to hear that and refreshing. It's very, it's very easy to be magnanimous when you're still earning a quarter of a million dollars a year. Yeah, <laughs> it's not bad though. <laughs> not bad. They're taking a serious haircut to play. play good on him for a dollar. That'll make news. Yeah. Oh, he, he would be a hero Yeah, then. wouldn't he just? Pay oh, for a dollar. He'd be bleeding himself dry. Come on, there's CEOs of companies that pay themselves a dollar. Yeah, yeah not many. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not Qantas, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, Alan. Oh, Alan. Oh, 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 oh. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.